Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art, and I'm Mr. Woods, and I'm so excited to be bringing you the five-day drawing challenge. Every day, I'm going to give you the theme or concept of what to draw, and all you have to do is sketch it in. Materials, small, compact sketchbook, pencil, that way you can take it anywhere and everywhere in about five minutes of your time, so there's no excuses. And the idea is to become better at drawing, you have to draw. So now, let's Begin. Okay, we're ready to start, and the theme or the subject that we're gonna we're gonna draw is a pencil, and we're gonna just keep it easy peasy, lemon squeezy for right now, so that way we can feel successful on our first attempt. This is day one, so I'm opening up my little sketchbook here and I'm going to attempt to draw this number two pencil that I'm looking at. Um, try to keep it about the same size. What's well, actually gonna, needs, it needs to be a little bit smaller, or a little bit shorter to fit on the page. I like the way um, the light's hitting the pencil and gives me a nice cast shadow. So here, I'm gonna start with just drawing the main line kind of right down the middle of the paper and it's going to be kind of the middle of the pencil itself. And then from here I'm going to stop and come back for the top and bottom of the pencil. Now when, I, when I'm creating um, some of the lines I'm going to have a slight curve to them to give um, the pencil more of a cylinder kind of feel to it. And here's the little metal part and the eraser coming back across and putting the tip on and I can see that my pencil is going to be about the same width as the subject that I'm looking at only it's going to be a little bit shorter so it's going to look like a, a used pencil but hey you know we're just drawing trying to get better so now I'm going to start coming back in and pressing down a little bit firmer with my pencil that way uh, my lines are going to be a little bit darker. I'm going to try to really look at the details at the tip of the pencil and focus in on that before I head down to the end of the pencil. And since I have just a kind of the generic number two pencil, it's not quite round, so I have a couple lines that I need to draw on the pencil itself. And so if you saw that I started really light and now I'm pressing down a little bit more and I'm going to keep the lines that um, you know I really think are the correct lines by just drawing over them. So I'm going to literally trace some of my lighter lines and then alter them and change them around just a little bit. So now I'm working at the metal on the metal piece here and I, there's quite a bit of detail on that piece a lot of little lines so I'm really going to focus and kind of go slow try to get all the detail that I can and then right here in the middle we have some lines that change direction they're perpendicular to the uh, original lines that I've drawn and the eraser is just a little bit smaller if you notice because uh, the metal piece overlaps the eraser so I'm pretty satisfied here um, now I'm going to add a little bit of value and kind of shade in just with my number two pencil just enough to give it more of a uh, three-dimensional feel to it. And again just pressing down harder on some of my lines so um, they become more evident that that's the lines I'm going to keep. And what's nice about the uh, little sketchbook, it's really versatile. You can just, you know, change directions with it. Um, it's pretty easy to handle, and I like that it's got a hard cover, so I'm able to carry it, and I don't have to have, you know, anything else to draw on, like a clipboard. Now I'm starting with this cast shadow, and all it is is just the shadow that the pencil creates on the table and that's why I had a white sheet of paper on top of my desk 
so I could really see that uh, shadow because I wanted to emphasize that it was there. Now just come back in and add to the shadows. Um, you know, darken some sections in and just look at the details and now, you know, basically just fine tuning it. And like I said, this is should only take you about five minutes. Uh, taking me a little bit longer because I'm working, filming, and talking, so I'm not able to, you know, get it the angles that you know I normally would draw. And I'm trying to slow down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on um, on this little episode. Now, obviously, the pencil is a lot shorter than the original pencil, but you get the feel that it that it's you know number two pencil. Um, and I'm pretty satisfied. I'm just going to finish up here with a little bit of shading. But check out that pencil. I'm really satisfied. It's looking good. I'm just going to sign my name here. And after I sign my name, I'm going to put the actual date. That way I can look back upon this and say, hey, on Monday, the 15th of February, I drew a pencil. It is, you know, fairly easy. And then each day, we're going to pick little objects that, that are going to make it uh, a little more difficult, a little more challenging. But uh, something, you know, objects that when we're done, we're going to be satisfied and we're just going to feel like, hey, I was successful because that's what it's all about is you want to feel successful hey my friends and followers thank you so much for sketching with me right here at Mr. Woods's wonderful world of art and we just completed the first day of our five-day drawing challenge and hey let's have a look see here I'm pretty happy even though my pencil is a little bit shorter than the original I'm satisfied so I can't wait to see your art Make sure you take a great picture and upload it onto my Facebook page. And I'm so happy you decided to accept this challenge and you're sketching with me every day for the next four days at least. So keep being original, keep being creative, most importantly, keep having fun. And remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.